Hey everyone and welcome to Los Altos High School where tonight the Los Altos Eagles will welcome the Mountain View Spartans in this varsity basketball matchup. My name is Ari K. Should be a good one tonight. Mountain View coming into the contest 10 and or 5 and 10 overall. Los Altos 11 and 5 including a 3 and 0 mark in league play as Mountain View controls the opening tip. McAllister is setting things up. Joey Williams looking to find McAllister. He does. Spartans running their five out offense, kind of a motion type offense for the Spartans is. Trying to find McAllister down low. Ives now top of the key. Swings it around, Yarell. Three pointer off the mark, but that ball is controlled by Corey Fitz. Gets it back to Yarell. McAllister is gonna launch, just rattles out. So Los Santos will get their first possession as Joey Malgesini the leading scorer for the Eagles controls the ball. Malgesini over to Landman. Upalori. Not looking to shoot. Now they're going to go inside. Turn around. Jump shot is up and good. Steven Garverick. The 6'4 senior getting that bucket to go. And a 2 nothing lead early on here for the Eagles. Now here comes Mountain View in their away blacks. Los Santos in the home whites. Swings it around to URL. There's Williams, Ives now controls the ball. McAllister, top of the key. Looking for Williams, he's gonna launch the three pointer. No good, rebound by Ives and he's gonna be fouled by Upalori trying to convert that offensive rebound into a layup. But for Mountain View, Joey Williams Big boy, 6'3", but can shoot outside, so that's something Los Santos will have to look at. Nice job there by Ives. The small 5'9 guard getting into the paint, getting that offensive rebound, trying the contact to get himself to the line, and knocking down the first free throw. That foul called on Hassan Iqbal. So, splitting the free throws is Ives and Maldrasini controlling the basketball. Mountain View, looks like in there in some kind of 1-2-2 two, two zone. So they swing it around, Iqbal inside. Garvik trying to get some type of shot attempt up, but Mountain View, nice job double teaming him in the low post. They're gonna swing it back to Garvik, another double team comes. Garvik tries to split the double team, but it looked like he traveled on his way to try and get that layup attempt up. So two to one, Mountain View. McAllister facing a Los Santos press here and a nice steal. Garvik gonna take it all the way to the hole and he is fouled going up. Garvik started that play near the half court line and read the eyes of the Spartans there. Grabbing the ball from Joey Williams and then drawing the foul on McAllister going up for the shot. So Garvik who had the first two points for Los Altos, adds to his total. He's got the first three for the Eagles. Now we'll try to make it a four point game. Just getting started here at the Los Altos campus. Four to one now. As substitution, Carl Wilson checking into the game for Mountain View, replacing Joey Williams. Spartan selecting to go small here, perhaps to combat this Eagles press. Wilson, though he comes off the bench, plays some of the bigger minutes for the Spartan squad. As this time, much better job for Mountain View breaking that pressure. So McAllister sets up the offense. Los Altos, man-to-man -man look. Ives looking for some help. Swings it around, fits. Inside, Ives. Looked like he had position, but he walked. Had the much bigger defender on him and perhaps that scared him a little bit if we're going up for that turnaround jump shot. Nice job by Steven Garvik in the low post as Maldrasini now brings the ball back up for the Eagles. Swings it around, now here's Maldrasini. What he likes to do, shoot the three. That'll make it seven to one as Maldrasini able to connect on his first three pointer of the game. Now Eagles back into that trapping full court press. Ives, reset to McAllister. 
McAllister over to Yarrell. Here comes Wilson. Looking inside, nothing there though. Now back to McAllister. Mountain View content to just pass along the perimeter here against this defense. Ives now gets a little penetration. Back to McAllister who drives, floater up, good. Tough shot from McAllister, beating the shot clock. Nice shot over Lambie Landman to get the two pointer and to make it a seven to three ball game. So Iqbal passing it, gets it back from Landman. Now inside, Garbrick, nice footwork inside to get around Corey Fitz. He'll lay it up and in, and an early nine to three advantage for Los Altos. So Yarrell, dangerous pass up ahead to Fitz, and that ball will be saved. Nice job by Landman and Rosenbaum connecting to save that basketball. Maldacini now into the front court. Swings it around the perimeter, looking inside for Garvik. Mountain View doubling him in the low post again. Garvik looked like he traveled with the basketball. That will be the call by the referee. So Mountain View making it a point of emphasis to double Gavrick down low, making sure he doesn't get any easy looks for two. So you can see Gavrick very, very aggressive against the double team, looking to split it, get himself open around the perimeter, but maybe he'd be more advised to find the open man when that double team comes. So Mountain View basketball, McAllister, their leading scorer, TRL. Ives off the key, looking for somewhere to go with the ball. Finds McAllister. Mountain View having a little trouble getting some early offense against this Los Altos defense. Eagles playing very aggressively against the Spartans, and they're gonna call a foul as Fitz was bailed out by Rosenbaum trying to drive to the hoop. Nice job though by Fitz taking matters into his own hand. The Mountain View offense, a little bit stagnant here in the early goings. As Urell looking for somewhere to inbound the ball to, and he inbounds it right to Maldacini, who takes it away, starts the fast break. Now a skip pass over to Rosenbaum in the corner. He's gonna go cross court to Maldacini. Drives, jumper on the way, back iron, no good. And the rebound goes down to Urell. So after the missed bucket, no full court press from Los Atos. McAllister able to dribble it up easily. McAllister swings it to Fitz, looking inside Ives, wide open down low, and he flips that up and in. Nice quick shot there by Ives before Lambie Landmick could come over and contest that jump shot. And some better ball movement on that possession by Mountain View. Quick passes around the perimeter and then nice find inside. Fitz saw Ives cutting to the hoop for the basket. That's what Mountain View is gonna wanna do on offense. They do a lot of backdoor cutting in this motion style five out offensive set they run. As Landman gonna take the three pointer. That one's no good. Maybe a little bit of an ill-advised shot from the big man. And McAllister resets for Mountain View. Down four now, nine to five. Joey Williams back into the game for the Spartans. He's gonna find a cutting Blake Yarrell. His floater in the lane is up and good. Nice movement without the ball from Yarrell. Nine seven now. Spartans with a couple of baskets to cut this deficit to just two. Inside they go, Garbrick. Kind of forced that shot over Joey Williams. That one's no good. McAllister gets that ball away from Daniel Rosenbaum who had ideas of perhaps stealing the ball in the backcourt. Here's Ives, Wilson, McAllister. Swings it around back to Ives. McAllister thought about the three. Now another cutting Ives inside. He's gonna lay that one up and in, this time over Malgesini. And now it's a nine to nine ball game. Nice movement without the ball from the Spartans. Mountain View perhaps known a little better for their outside shooting, getting some easy looks around the rim here. Now Malgesini, his second three point attempt for the game that time, off to the left. And Mountain View chance to take the lead. One minute to go here in the first quarter of play. Wilson 
Sets it up, Urell, and looks like we'll have a foul on the floor. So Mountview, again, doing a great job. Movement without the basketball, and Carl Wilson, no hesitation on that pass inside to Ives. Ives taking his time inside, got Maldacini to jump up in the air, and then converted the layup. That last foul was called on Johnny Chen, who was into the game for the Eagles. As McAllister drives into the paint, floater in the lane is good. Second type of floater that he shot in this game, both have gone down, and it's 11-9, Spartans their first lead. Los Atos looking for some type of offense, Gavrik outside, swings it around. Here comes Kelleher with the basketball, looking to drive, baseline, tough floater, and they're gonna call a foul as Kelleher drove right into Blake Urell, who was called for the foul. So Los Altos, who'd been stagnant the last couple possessions on offense, took someone coming off the bench to get them into a little bit of an offensive groove, as actually that was Garvrick who drove to the hoop. So Garvrick at the line is gonna nail the free throw. One more shot for Garvik. He's made a big impact here in the early goings for the Eagles. Garvik's second attempt and a little bit short. Rebound though, goes to Rosenbaum. 21 seconds, Los Angeles can play for the last shot if they want. They have other ideas though as the three pointer is missed from Kaboot. So now Mountain View a chance for the last shot of the quarter. McAllister setting things up, 10 seconds to go. Now with five, McAllister looking to drive all the way to the rim, a little bit short on that layup attempt. Rosenbaum will not beat the buzzer with his half court attempt. And that will do it for our first quarter of play. Back and forth we go, 11-10, Mountain View Spartans on top. Ever since we moved to the United States, Palo Alto Medical Foundation has been taking care of our health. We love our doctor. She is always ready to listen to us and is very professional and answers all our questions and is very reassuring. PAMP has been there not just for my own family but for the whole community, whether they're seeing patients or providing doctors for our free medical clinic. Welcome back, 11-10. Mountain View on top here at the start of the second quarter. KMBT Sports would like to thank our all sports presenting sponsor, the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, a part of the Sutter Health Network. Make sure you choose your PAMP doctor today. Let's take a look at the De Anza League standings. Los Altos out to a nice start to the season, 3-0 and in league play so far. They've had some impressive victories beating Palo Alto, beating Saratoga, beating Milpitas. And for Mountain View, one and two on the season. They just lost to Milpitas in their last game. They did have a win against Los Gatos, but I'm sure Mountain View looking for a better start to their league effort. These two teams played earlier in the year at the Cupertino shootout. And that was a game that Mountain View actually won fifth place game they won 37-36 in a nail-biting victory. A lot more low scoring in that game than here tonight. 11-10 in the first quarter as we start the second. Los Atos with the ball in their home whites. Chen looking for Maldacini. Now passes it to Kelleher. Inside they go. Look like a travel, no call on Landman. Maldacini now 10 on the shot clock. Back into Landman, right hook in the lane, and he is fouled going up. They're gonna get Joey Williams for the foul, and Landman will get back to the free throw line. See Mal Giacini, saw the Landman, got good position down low, and Joey Williams not making much of an effort to get him off the block there, as Landman hits his first attempt, ties the game back up at 11. Substitution now as Rosenbaum checking back into the game for the Eagles. Landman's second attempt up. That one's off the mark. Splits the pair 
And we're going to get a reaching foul on the Eagles. So tie ball game. 11-11 is that last foul. Called on Johnny Chen is second in the game. McAllister trying to break this pass. Press, and that was a bad pass. Maldacini picks it off. Maldacini looking for an opening over to Rosenbaum. McAllister, some nice one-on-one -on -one defense against the Eagles leading scorer. And now it looks like they're gonna get another foul inside. We'll see if they get Williams or Ives for that one. It looks like they're gonna call it on Joey Williams. His second quick foul here in the second quarter. And so this time, Rosenbaum will get himself to the free throw line. Four fouls on each team here at the start of the second quarter. Daniel Rosenbaum hitting the first free throw. So Chen with two fouls will depart. Garvrick back into the game for the Eagles. Rosenbaum, second attempt on the way, and a bit long. Nice effort there from Landman trying to save the basketball, but it goes out of bounds. Spartans will get the ball back, now down one. We'll see if they can do a little better job of breaking this pressure as McAllister, who threw the ball away on his last chance. This time, nice pass, DRL up ahead. Now to Fitz, streaking into the low post and making it up and in. Couldn't have scripted it any better for Mountain View, breaking that Los Santos press. They get the lead back, 13-12 now. Maldacini directing traffic over to Kelleher. Mountain View back in their zone defensive look. Landman kicks it back out. Three-pointer on the way. That one's up and good. Joey Maldacini. And they like calling him the microwave here at the Eagles home court. And he's getting pretty hot from the outside so far here as we're gonna get what looks to be a reaching foul on Los Altos. A little bit of a ticky-tack foul. The Eagles get called for, and that's Maldacini's first. As we take a look at Maldacini draining that open three for Mountain View. Worried about Gavrick inside. You can't forget about Maldacini on the perimeter. He is deadly from the perimeter. So Fitz over to McAllister. Williams. Now Fitz, a long three-pointer by the big man, nothing but net. Corey Fitz showing his range. So that puts Mountain View back on top, just like that, 16-15. Eagles looking for a hole in this swarming Mountain View defense. Gavrick, now top of the key, looking to drive on Williams. Kicks it back out to Rosenbaum, drives baseline, tough. Layup attempt, but that one's going to be off Ives, out of bounds. So Eagles will retain possession. I think Fitz's three-pointer caught the Eagles a little bit off guard there. So Maldacini was right in his face, still able to get it up and good from well beyond the high school three-point arc. Now a look inside. That ball is saved. Landman hits the side of the backboard, though, as he tries to go up for that layup attempt. Didn't know quite where he was on the court. So Mountain View will get the ball. Fitz, top of the key for Williams. Now Urell. Back to McAllister. McAllister looking to drive along the left elbow area. That one is no good for him. Landman with the rebound up to Maldacini. Maldacini looking to start the offense and oh, miscommunication between Rosenbaum and Maldacini. We go to Gavrick on the left elbow and we're gonna get a travel. It's a couple times now Gavrick has turned the ball over, shuffling the feet before he made a basketball move. So after the turnover, Los Sato setting up their press. Mountain View able to break it fairly easily, but Urell dribbled it off his foot, almost turned it back over to Maldacini. Fitz looking for the cutting Urell. Inside, nice hook shot in the lane. 
Jarrell taking his time, getting to his strong hand, his right hand, and finishing in the paint area. So the cutting of Mountain View paying big dividends here in the first half is Gavrik looking to add to his point total. No good for him. He's been very aggressive so far in this game. Averages 15.9 points per contest. We're going to get a foul out on the perimeter. That one's going to be called on Thomas Kelleher. The sixth team foul on Los Altos. So Mountain View, rest of the half, will be in the bonus, one and one, after the next Los Altos foul. McAllister, trapped near midcourt, gets it to Ives. Ives dribbles in. Williams looking for someone to cut to the hoop. No one was there. And now McAllister takes the three-pointer off the mark. Los Santos basketball. Joey Malgesini over to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum drives into the paint. A good job by Mountain View helping out. Now Garvik's looking to drive again. Looked like he might have shuffled his feet, but still contorted his body. Be able to put that one up and in. Cut the deficit to just one for Los Altos. Fitz gets it ahead to Yarell. And some kind of violation as we're gonna take another look at Gavrik. Maybe one too many steps there, but still kept his eye on the hoop. Able to get it up and in. So I think some blood perhaps on Corey Fitz. They're gonna get him band-aided up. Mountain View still with the basketball, up one, 250 to go here in the second quarter. Gets it in to McAllister. He's played this whole first half. Mountain View, not very deep. Only six people have played so far here in the first half. Williams swings around the perimeter. Carl Wilson's gonna get Williams an open look at the three, and that one's well long. But McAllister gets the friendly ricochet, and Wilson's gonna get an open three-pointer. That one's no good. And the rebound goes down to Kelleher. There's a three in the corner, Malgesini this time off the mark. Ives will get the rebound down low for the Spartans. Two minutes to go here in the first half, and Yarell's gonna get a wide open look at a three, and not going down for Mountain View right now. Three straight perimeter looks for the Spartans. They haven't connected on any of them. Garvik, Malgesini, tried to go up with the jump shot, but Carl Wilson strips him. Now here's a break, Wilson taking it up and in on the fast break. Nice pass ahead from McAllister to give Wilson his first two points of the game. Kelleher swings it. Landman, Gavrik's gonna take the three, rattles out. Joey Williams taps that one out to Ives. And the Spartans will get the ball back. 2017, minute 18 to go in the first half. Los Atos now in his own defensive look. Ives, pump fake, gets a good look at a jumper, but just too long. So Malgesini, Kelleher, looking to do something with the basketball. Now Garvrick, trying to get into the paint again, and he does, lays it up and in. Garvrick. Showing his dominance, driving from the perimeter and getting inside on this Mountain View zone look. So 2019, under one minute to play in the first half. McAllister to Wilson. Now Ives. 14 on the shot clock as Urell is gonna take the long three, rattles out. Three pointers have not been falling for Mountain View, yet they still have a one point lead. 17 seconds to go. Los Santos holding for the last shot as Malgesini barking out orders to his teammates. 
Now with eight, Baldessini's gonna go. Over to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum, jumper on the way, good, with three seconds to go. So Rosenbaum will give the Eagles the halftime advantage as he's just curled around here at the top of the arc, just inside the three-point line. Under control jumper that time from Rosenbaum as we take a look at Garvrick, a play earlier driving to the hoop, getting the layup. Garvrick's been everywhere in the first half for the Eagles. And the Eagles getting the lead at the end of the first half, 21-20, Los Altos over Mountain View. As a busy mom of three kids, I find it extremely convenient to access My Health Online. My Health Online's messaging service allows me to keep in close contact with our doctor. Being able to email the doctor with questions gave us assurance that they do take an interest in the patients. That's why we've been with Penn for more than 10 years and keep adding members, the newest member. Welcome back to Los Altos, where the Eagles up on the Spartans 21-20. We get a look at some of the Mountain View fans who have made the trek. Not too far between the two campuses. About 12 minutes in total. As Mountain View starting with the basketball, down one. McAllister. Back to Ives. Ives looking for someone to cut to the hoop. Nice defense there from Iqbal. 15 on the shot clock, Mountain View. Hasn't gotten really a good look at the basket so far in this possession. McAllister being hounded by Rosenbaum up top. Five on the shot clock. Ives is gonna have to do something with the basketball. Stutter step, drive to the hole, layup up, no good, but Williams is right there to put it back up and in. Nice job by Williams sticking with the Ives miss. And Mountain View, 22 to 21 now. Los Atos inside, now Gavrik. Out to Iqbal, swings around to Maldacini. He's open for a three, and he nails his third trifecta of the game. So now Maldacini with the tip. Iqbal back to Maldacini, he lays it up and in. The microwave getting hot, both from the outside and inside. 26-22 all of a sudden, Los Altos. 5-0 run, sparked entirely by Maldacini. So Mountain View looking to set up their offense again. Ives to Fitz in the high post. Now McAllister. Los Santos being very aggressive with their man-to-man -man defense right now. We'll see if that leads to any backdoor cuts by Mountain View. Fitz is gonna take another long three. This one way off the mark. Hit one of those earlier in the game, but this time off to the right of the hoop. Maldacini will take it up for the Eagles. Mountain View back into his own defense. Swings it around. Landman over to Maldacini. Now a jumper up and good. Gavrick able to get one to go from the right baseline. And it's a 7-0 run for Los Altos, 28-22 now. McAllister almost moved that pivot foot. Not to be able to break the press. McAllister will reset the offense. Pitts looking for a cutting Ives, he finds him. Drives to the hoop, is fouled. Can't quite convert the layup, but he'll get a couple of free throw attempts. First foul of the half on either team. So Ives to the free throw line. First one is up and good. Called that foul on Hassan Iqbal. That's his second foul of the game. So Ives, another free throw. He's been good from there tonight. Hits both of these attempts, 28-24 now. So Iqbal looking inside, finds a cutting Rosenbaum to the rim. Rosenbaum from the left side, putting it up with the right hand. 
And it's a six point game again, 30-24, Los Altos. Fits into the front court. Durrell didn't want to shoot that three. Still, they'll reset the offense. So we take another look, good ball movement from Los Altos. Iqbal just found Rosenbaum cutting to the hoop. And Rosenbaum a little faster than Williams getting to that spot, then contorted his body. To get a good angle with the right hand to lay it up and in. Looks like we have another cut situation as Garvik getting some medical attention on the sidelines. And looks like they'll have to substitute for him. Thomas Kelleher back into the game off the bench as Garvik gets his cut looked at. So we're ready to start action once again. Blake Arelda inbound. Fitz finds Ives and we're going to get a hold on Los Altos called against Kelleher who just checked into the game his second foul. So 4.52 to go in the third quarter. Los Altos who is up one at the half now has a six point advantage. 30 to 24 as Garvrick checks back into the game. Kelleher back to the bench. So Mountain View, let's see if they can maybe get a perimeter shot to go. They're doing a good job getting it inside, but their perimeter looks have not been falling so far in this game. Bad pass by Riorel. Iqbal with the seal, spin move on McAllister, and they're gonna get a foul. On Yarell, the call it on the floor, no shot attempt. So Iqbal looked like he might have traveled a little bit towards the end of that play after the nice steal by him. But they say he was pushed, and yeah, that's a good call, Yarell, causing Iqbal to take one too many steps there. Inbound to Iqbal. Into the corner, Maldacini open three, and that one won't fall. Good look for Maldacini. Garvrick on the second attempt, no good. And then on the offensive rebound try, he went over the back against Joey Williams. So Garvrick picks up the foul, that's his first. Los Altos in their full court press. McAllister to Fitz to Ives, they break the pressure. Valdesini. Guarding against McAllister as they get the ball to Williams. Ives cutting again into the paint area and he took one too many steps as the refs. He felt he kept his pivot foot down. Referee disagreed, so it will be Los Altos basketball. Valdesini who had a good look at a three his last time. Into Rosenbaum, Rosenbaum, nice move against Williams again on the left side of the hoop, lays it up and in. And Los Altos now up eight all of a sudden, 32 to 24, their biggest lead of the game. Mountain View did not break the press. They're gonna call a 10 second violation as Carl Wilson, just a bit too slow getting it across. And on the other end, Rosenbaum, again, just a little too quick for Williams to defend. And perhaps because of the speed disadvantage, Williams checking out of the game for the Spartans. Iqbal trying to get the ball inside, picked off by Corey Fitz. Fitz back to the three point line, pretty move, but unable to get the bounce. So Los Altos into the front court. Maldacini. Looks like Garvrick might have traveled before he made that move, but a nice pass inside. Landman will lay it up and in. Landman, who hasn't been very involved in the offense so far today, gets a nice feed from Garvrick and puts in the two. It's a 10-point game, Los Altos, opening things up here in the third quarter as another steal. And it looks like players hurt down on the floor for Mountain View. That's John McAllister as the layup is up and good, but he went hard on his backside and he is writhing in pain on the floor. 
And it looks like he's pointing to his tailbone area. He went up in the air and fell hard on his backside and he is in some noticeable pain as the athletic trainer checking him out along with his head coach, Jim Forthoffer. We're gonna step away real quick for a break, 36-24 with 2.48 to go in the third quarter. Back here at Los Altos High School, so we see a poster showing support for John McAllister, who just went down on the floor. He looked to be okay, though. He was able to get up, walk off the court just fine. So hopefully some good news for McAllister as Rosenbaum completes the three-point attempt. He hit a layup while McAllister was down on the floor. Got fouled in the process, so now it's a 13-point Los Altos lead. This press has been doing wonders here in the third quarter. Maldacini almost stealing the ball. Wilson did not break the line before the 10 second violation. Unable to get it to the front court. Another turnover for Mountain View. And Los Altos looking to expand their now 13 point advantage as McAllister. Good news for him checking back into the contest. So Los Santos swinging the ball around the perimeter. Rosenbaum looking to drive on Ives. Now Landman into the paint. Some contact, no call. Maldacini with the rebound. Going to find Landman driving baseline again. Stuffed at the rim. Fitz was right there. And he got all of that block. Wow. That ball went straight down off of his paw. So Landman looking inside, nothing there. Garvik, Landman, Maldacini. Now Garvik looking to make a move. Gives it to Maldacini, three in the corner. And Landman unable to convert there. Nice defensive rebound by Fitz. So we'll see how McAllister's moving around. Looks to be in good condition after that hard fall. On the left wing, finds Wilson. Ooh, he had a three-pointer if he wanted to shoot that. Instead, Yorel's gonna take the three. He's been off on his three-point tries tonight. And that ball goes out of bounds, Los Altos basketball. Will Brennan will make an appearance here in the second half, replacing Iqbal. So Los Altos, as Maldacini takes it across against the zone Mountain View defense. Brennan finds Lannon. Now Garvik looking for somewhere to go with the ball. Now it's just going to dribble, and he's going to travel yet again. Garvik a little out of control as he tried to drive to the hoop. Right idea, though, against that zone defense. Got to find the driving lanes to the hole. Opens things up on the perimeter as well. It's a good try by Garvik, but the turnover. As Mountain View now fits, high pass, you're all able to save it, back out to Wilson. Now McAllister's gonna drive and not convert on the layup. They'll call that as McAllister was going up for the shot, so he'll get two free throws. This game is brought to you with help from our presenting sponsor, the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, a Sutter Health affiliate. Make sure you choose your PAMP doctor today. Foul called on Landman. 
So McAllister, two free throws here. Back iron, no good on that first attempt. McAllister, very good shooter. It's a little surprising. That first free throw off the mark. So we get a look at Jim Forthoffer. Looking at the officials as there's some confusion either over the player fouled, player who fouled, I should say. Maybe the shot clock as everything's now set. McAllister, his second free throw. That one, much better for him up and good. 45 seconds to go in the third quarter, Los Altos. 12 point advantage. They're up only one at half, 21 to 20. It's been all Eagles here in the second half as Rosenbaum all the way in and out on the jump hook. Urell grabs the rebound. Now McAllister aggressively drives in. Now Wilson into the paint, back to McAllister. McAllister loses the ball, gets it back. And three second violation, McAllister set up in the paint for too long. So with 12 seconds, Los Altos gets the ball back. Gonna get the last attempt of the quarter. Here's Rosenbaum who hit the shot just before the half. Tries to pass inside, guard break, able to corral and hit in the paint. And Los Altos ends the third quarter with their biggest lead of the game after three quarters, wow. Nice job by Rosenbaum. Finding someone inside, McAllister almost stripped it away. But Garbrick staying with the play, making the turnaround. So after three quarters of play, 39-25, Los Altos with the lead. I was at a fire department training and I had these shooting pains when they just shot right up into my temples. I went to Palo Alto Medical to follow up with my doctor. He found a heart murmur. It turned out to be an aortic aneurysm, which would have killed me had he not caught it. I don't really like going to the doctor, but I, I truly like going and seeing the guy. He's a great doctor, and he saved my life. Back here at the campus of Los Altos, 39 to 25, the Eagles on top. They have the ball to start the fourth quarter of play. Mountain View try to get some run to get back in this contest. Only five points in that third quarter for Mountain View. Eagles outscoring him by 13 in the third frame as Garbrick passes to Landman. His jumper in the lane is good. Soft touch by Lammy Landman to make the score 41-25. Mountain View this time able to break the Eagles press fairly easily as Wilson try to get something going. Drives into the paint, is fouled, and they're gonna say and one for Wilson. Late call by the ref to see if that shot would count or not. Wilson is driving right past Iqbal, who was defending a little aggressively on the perimeter. And Iqbal committed the foul as Wilson went in for the layup. Wilson drains the free throw. So a nice three point play there. Gets the deficit back to 13, 724 remaining in the game. We'll see if Mountain View can get some stops on the defensive end of the court. If they wanna come back in this contest, they're gonna need to string together a couple defensive stops against Los Altos team that's been having their way here in the second half offensively. Rosenbaum. Back to Maldacini, he's gonna spot up for three and hit. McAllister was right there to defend the three point attempt. Maldacini just shot right over him. Maldacini a 6-3 guard. And so not much McAllister could do to defend that shot. Wilson now driving, finds it wide open. Corey Fitz in the corner, his three pointer's no good. Yarell tried to tip that ball but it's corralled by Maldacini. So Maldacini with the dribble. Tried to go inside for Rosenbaum, that ball tipped away. 
right through the hands that time of Garbrick. He's able to track down the Aaron pass. Set it up for Maldacini. Nine on the shot clock. Maldacini to the three point line. Spots up for three. No good this time. And McAllister with the rebound. McAllister looking to drive. Over to Fitz. Back to McAllister. McAllister all the way into the paint. Ives gets Maldacini flying up in the air and then he drives all the way for two. So Ives having a nice offensive contribution in this game. 44-30, 5.40 to go in the game. Los Altos trying to ice this one away. Maldacini trying to work on McAllister, thought about the three. Kicks it out, Garvrick. Looking to work against Urell into the paint. And that's where Garvrick has been deadly in this contest. Little floater in the lane is up and good. 16 point advantage for the Eagles. Callister looking for some early offense. Nice poke away by Garvrick. Now Wilson. Urell able to corral it. Now Ives looking to drive again. Passes out. Fitz into the painted area, no good. Nice hustle by Fitz, but out of bounds. Los Santos basketball. And Garvik, who's just been so instrumental to this offensive attack, getting into the paint, and that's a tough shot over Blake Urell. But just under control enough to flip that basketball up and in. Now Giussini. Swings it. Here's Landman. Jumper rattles around and in. Lambie Landman. Another basket, 48 to 30. Again, biggest lead for Los Altos at 18. And Garvick read that pass by Fitz all the way. Fast break attempt now from Al Giussini. His jumper is going to be a little short this time. We're gonna get a foul underneath. So Mountain View called for the foul. That is their third of the half. It was Carl Wilson called for the shove in the back. So Los Santos, new shot clock for them. Now under four minutes to go in the game, up 18. Rosenbaum passes it up. Brian Lai, who's now into the game. That ball is stolen. McAllister up and in on the fast break. So not how uh, Brian Lai wanted to start his action into this ball game. As Maldacini, a quick shot. That one's no good. Probably not the look that Bob McFarlane wanted to see from his players. So we see McAllister getting his hand in the passing lane on the attempt from Al Giussini and then nice job finishing around the rim. So with 3.29 to go in the game, Los Santos still up 48 to 32. KMBT 15 is your community media center. We are here to provide hands-on training, equipment, and resources to you to express your voice over many distribution platforms. So when you think of KMBT 15, remember we have a full production facility, production truck, and an award-winning staff here to support your needs. Welcome back to Los Angeles where the Eagles up 48 to 32 in this varsity basketball matchup. Mountain View, as I mentioned before, beat the Eagles in their first contest at the Cupertino shootout, 37-36. So Los Santos is acting a little revenge here on their home court. As these two rivals will play later in the year at Mountain View. That game will be on February 12th at 7 p.m. 
So Mountain View basketball trying to get some offense going down 16 points. Los Santos still with the full court press, even up 16. Sives takes it across and reach in foul by Los Santos. Not what you want to see here as that puts Mountain View into the bonus. Ives will be shooting one and one. So a double whammy for Los Santos there, stopping the clock while they're up 16 points and also allowing Mountain View the opportunity to perhaps get some free points while the clock is stopped. It's up to Ives to convert the free throws though and he nails the first one down. Ives, been a present, pleasant surprise for Mountain View so far in this game. Doing a nice job down low despite standing at only five foot nine. So Ives hits two free throws, 48 to 34. Mountain View still a lot of work to get back into this ball game. Garbrick with the handle. And a reach in foul called on McAllister. Only the fourth team foul on the Spartans, so they're still three fouls away from getting Los Santos into the bonus. As Carl Wilson checks out along with Corey Fitz. And Skylar Russert comes into the game for the first time for the Spartans. And another reach in foul on Mountain View. It's Leo Shaw also into the game. So perhaps Mountain View trying to get Los Santos into the bonus, make them shoot a couple free throws here. As that ball is stripped away, out of bounds off Mountain View though, Ives got a hand on that basketball. So Johnny Chen, I'm sure, tell you needs to be a little more secure there. Preventing the turnovers is, that's a Mountain View. It's gonna have any opportunity to come back into this game, it's gonna be off turnovers. Garvick with the handle, McAllister, and Ives come over and McAllister, oh, right into the hands of Chen. Shaw clock did not reset though. As Russ determined, not if he never had full possession of that basketball. Eight to go. Rosenbaum tried the three-pointer, lost the handle, puts up a prayer off the backboard, no good. McAllister losing the basketball, diving on the floor, and we're gonna get a jump ball. Wow. So McAllister looked like he was gonna have a nice fast break opportunity for Mountain View. Possession will favor the Spartans, I believe. But Rosenbaum, nice effort on that previous Los Santos possession. He lost the ball going up in the air. Stuck with the play, at least got it on the rim. Gave the Eagles a chance to rebound that basketball. Turned out Mountain View had it. And on the jump ball, it'll be their basketball as the ref talking to Bob McFarlane. McFarlane pleading his case. But looks like to no avail. So down 14 points, Mountain View probably needs a couple of long perimeter attempts here, getting behind that three point line. And they do have the personnel to do it. We haven't seen much of it so far in this game, but they are a pretty good three point shooting team on the year as McAllister takes the jumper off the mark. And Los Altos up 14. Two minutes to go in the basketball game with the ball. Al Giacini fouled on the perimeter as he tried to pass inside to a cutting ick ball. So foul number six for Mountain View. Third foul on Kevin Ives. Next foul by the Spartans will put Los Santos at the line. Ball just inbounded deep into the backcourt for Mal Giacini. We'll see when or if Mountain View will start to foul. Iqbal swings over to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum into the paint. Garvik able to corral it after the tip. Maldacini open look at a three. That is nothing but net. Maldacini his fourth three-pointer of the game. 
51-34. That should do it here. Los Altos says Maldacini, silly foul over the back. Didn't need that as he had just given his team a 17 point lead with a minute 30 to go. And what's so impressive, Maldacini just knows where he is on the court, gets right up to that three point line, and then able to knock down the three, wow. So Ives, another chance to add to his point total at the free throw line. First free throw up and good. Ives has been money there at the charity stripe all game long. So Austin Johnson will get some playing time for the Spartans. His first action of the game, the 5'10 junior guard. So perhaps Mountain View realizing their chances of coming back into this basketball game not great as Rohan Chaganuthan also checking in for them. 15 point advantage for Los Altos. Joey Maldusini still in the game. Passes to Chen. Rosenbaum trying to connect with Iqbal, but that pass sails out of bounds. Spartans ball. Or no, sorry, that. So Kyle Kumagan into the game for the first time for the Eagles. Ives still playing for the Spartans. Here's Shaw driving baseline and he's gonna be called for the travel. Shuffling his feet as he tried to find Austin Johnson on the other side of the basketball court. So both teams with mostly subs into the game. Still a couple starters in for Los Altos though. Rosenbaum still into the game. Gavrik, Rosenbaum, and Algesini, the three starters still in for Los Altos. And we're gonna get a timeout called by Bob McFarland, probably to get some more subs into this game. KMVT thanks our sponsor, the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, for bringing you this season of high school sports coverage. Choose your PAMP doctor today. 51 to 36, last minute of the fourth quarter. Los Altos looking to hang on to this game as I'm sure we'll see some more substitutions. Los Altos with the victory will move to 12 and five on the season and an impressive four and oh in league play. For Mountain View, the loss will put them at five and 11 on the season, one and three in league play. And for a senior-led team, I'm sure that's not where they wanted to be at this point in the season. You look at Mountain View and Jim Forthoffer, he's been very effective as the head coach, going 21 and five in his first year in the 2010-11 season, went 21 and six the season after, 16 and 10 last year. So to have a losing record at five and 11 so far, I'm sure disappointing, and disappointing to all the upperclassmen on his team. So we'll see what some of these subs can do in the last minute of action. There's a nice layup up and in. Ryan Lai getting the bucket on the reverse layup inside. That delights the Eagles crowd. 53-36. So Supreet Singh also into the game for Mountain View. Passes it, Shaw, nice turnaround jumper. And so the Mountain View fans get something to cheer about as Leo Shaw, who doesn't get a ton of action, gets the bucket. Will Brennan now looking inside. Tough layup attempt up. No good from Sami Nasif. So 20 seconds to go in this basketball game. Shaw, three-pointer now on the way. Rattles out for Austin Johnson. 11 seconds left. Looks like Cummigan wants a shot. Now he's going to slow things up. And so Los Altos will get a big league victory on their home court. They dominate the second half, turn a one-point halftime lead into a 15-point victory, 53-38. to 38. So for Mountain View, they will be having a tough game against Palo Alto in their next matchup. While Los Altos will get a game at Homestead. So a couple of league games after this one for both teams. 
We would like to thank our director producer, Bobby Chastain, our cameraman, Ted Melke, cameraman, Greg Johnsrud, camerawoman, Lynette Lude, and camerawoman, Lita Weeder. We'd also like to give a special thanks to Los Altos High School for hosting us for both this varsity match and the Frost Soft game that was played earlier today. Once again, Los Altos, a 53 to 38 win over Mountain View. My name is Ari Kay. Have a good night, everyone.